mug like so cute right okay anyway you might remember me from yesterday but um let's do the lowdown today first of all let's take another look at this tree it it just it doesn't get much better than that like i honestly i was sitting here and jarvis was sitting right here yesterday in this chair and i wasn't even looking at him or paying attention to what he was saying all i could think about was this tree what are we doing today my plan today like my big event that i'm planning on doing is i have saffron being delivered today okay because i want to make persian rice and then i'm also making chana masala so i'm gonna give it a go it might not it's probably not gonna come out like exactly like that but it's been pretty good. Like I've been making chana masala the last couple of days and it's been really good. So that's like my big thing, honestly, cause I'm getting that delivered. <laughs> so I was like, I'm banking on that today. Like hopefully. Actually, you know, I'm kind of thinking about it. I mean, I'm going to wait and see what you guys say about this TV, but I was watching TV last night after I was done editing and it does feel good. Like it feels good to watch TV on a TV that big. I have to say, like, look, I just have to say. I mean, I thought about going to Walmart today to look for more Christmas decorations because I literally said to Jarvis, Jarvis was like, wait, because I showed him, you know, yesterday, like all the Christmas stuff that we got done. And he's like, so did you decorate like back in my room yet or like the rest of the downstairs? And I go, no, I go, I'm literally out of decorations. I have no more left. He's like, oh, you need to get more. I go, look, say no more, say no more. I'll head to the store tomorrow. Okay, so I figured I would do my advent calendars today because I forgot to do them yesterday. Well, I didn't forget. I actually did open it, but I, it was like the video was already so long and I'm like, I can't do this to them. I can't, I, it's just not right. So, okay, yesterday when I opened this, my reaction was so the same as the day before. Okay, look at day two for this one. Look at this necklace. This is what, this is what we got for day two. This might be the worst, like just judging by the first two days, this is probably the worst advent calendar I've ever gotten. This was the necklace. Where it at though? There's day three, I'll let you see it before I do. It's a charm, I guess or something, I don't know. Here it is. So yesterday in the 12 Days of Beauty, this is what I pulled out. Um, these. So. Yeah, okay, so let's pull out. so bad these are honestly i can't really recall i feel like one year in like maybe 2016 or something we had really bad advent calendars too but those are ma these are making that one look like good um okay so yesterday i pulled out i think i pulled out oh yeah i did i pulled out um harry potter yesterday from the lego set so we we did get harry potter which i i would say is probably I think it's probably going to be all downhill from here, but let's open up the uh, number three. This is maybe not a good one for, you know, for visual, you know, interest. Okay, so that's what it's supposed to be. I, I, I might have to find another, I have to find another advent calendar. These are so bad. They are so bad. The only good one is this pretty little thing one. So, okay, where is day three? Let's do day three. This is the only good one that I got. I mean, these are, these are brutal. So we got a black eyeliner. Oh my God, you guys. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I just, I don't care about this. I don't care about black eyeliner. I have enough. 
something has to be done. Okay, I know what we're doing today. I was kind of struggling today. I'm like, Ugh, these advent calendars suck. I have nothing to do except for wait around for my Amazon order, which is just a sad existence. So let's just be honest. I just signed up for the Dayton Children's Toy Drive and I'm gonna like donate a bunch of toys and they have like a big wish list of stuff. I feel like I'm like on a mission shopping now. So I think we should go, I was gonna go to Walmart anyway. So we should go to Five Below Walmart and I'm just gonna pick up a bunch of stuff. So I wanna get them Squishmallows because I love Squishmallows. So I think we should get them some of those little mini ones like the Christmas ones. So I'm just gonna go get a bunch of toys and I'm dropping them off. I signed up for a slot. <laughs> on December 11th, so we'll drop them off on Saturday. But now I have a reason to shop. I'm excited and it's a good cause. So it's Dayton Children's Hospital. So I know a lot of people live in this area. I'm so excited we have something to do today. Yahoo. Um, and I also wanna just look for some stuff at Walmart anyway, you know what I mean? You know, some cutesy cutesy gorgeous stuff. Okay, change of plans really quick. I mean, not change of plans, but I'm going to, uh, let me turn this music off. I'm going to Dollar Tree first because I think I remember, and I might have to go to a different Dollar Tree, but I remember like they had like Santa sacks, kind of like, pre I think they were present sacks. But I was like, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, how am I gonna get these toys over to them in like an aesthetic way? I don't wanna just like hand them over in garbage bags because that would be like heinous. Like I would never wanna get a toy in a garbage bag, you know? So I figured like, what if I could present them in like a Santa sack? So it's like the kids are like, oh my God, this is actually from Santa. Like that would be so epic. So I'm gonna stop at Dollar Tree right now, I'm here. <laughs> a lot of stuff. I like to go to Dollar Tree first because, you know, sometimes I'll find stuff that I was maybe gonna buy at a different store, but I get it for less there because it's a dollar. So I like to go there like first and see. They didn't have those sacks, but I did find the cutest Santa bins. So I think I'm gonna do those instead. And I think they would also be more hygienic as well. Cause I was emailing Jarvis and I'm like, oh, what if I got like a big Santa sack? And he's like, I don't know if they allow fabric. So that's probably a good call. So. I found the cutest Santa bin. I saw it in somebody else's cart. And I was like, where did you get that? All right, now we're gonna go to Five Below. I got a lot of stuff back there. I got like a bunch of Barbie dolls and things and um, a lot of stuff that was specifically like on the list. A lot of them, they like want Matchbox cars, Hot Wheels. Um, they had some brand name stuff. Mm -hmm.
excited to show you what I got. I think I got some good stuff today. I'm excited to show you. You go. This lady's fucking crazy. I mean, people drive like wild animals. It's like they're Tokyo drifting out of the Walmart parking lot. I mean, what? I mean, oh, she just turned into Goodwill. Well, that makes sense. I kind of drive like that when I'm on my way to Goodwill too. We had a friggin' successful day today. I mean, really successful. Found a lot of good stuff. Oh, I gotta go. Found a lot of good stuff. I found the cutest. It's like a drink dispenser and it's the shape of a Christmas tree. And when I was checking out, everybody, and by everybody, I mean the two people in line behind me and the register lady were like, Oh, this is so cute. And it was $14.99 or 98, excuse me, Walmart price. I just, it was like a once in a lifetime. Like I wish that somebody was coming over for Christmas because I'm so sad that I don't know anybody. I have no friends. I have no family that lives around me. I'm all alone on an island with nothing and no one. I have nothing in my life except for this Christmas tree dispenser. Cause like now I want to have like a Christmas party at my house and no one wants to come. Do I just need to start inviting people off the street? Is that what? Is that really what it's come down to? Like, is that really what I'm gonna have to do now? <laughs> Cause I'm almost to that point where I'm like, anybody in line at Walmart that's like behind me, I'm just gonna be like, what are you doing later? Right, <laughs> I changed back into my comfy clothes. So let me just show you this stuff before we start. So this is the glass drink dispenser. So this part right here, you put it on the top. It's like, it's just inverted right now. Is that the cutest thing you've ever seen? I know it is. I got this bird feeder, which I thought was really pretty. Don't know about the quality of it, but whatever. Okay, so let's go over here. I'm gonna show you everything I got. I'm very excited to show you, so I hope that you are excited to see. And I put my, <laughs> I put the fire on behind me. It's so realistic. Not really. I'm just gonna go through each bag and I'll kind of let you know, but this is the pillow I got. Isn't this pretty? It was like on clearance or whatever, but it's this big boucle pillow. And it says that it's Sherpa, but it, I know that it's not because I know my pillow. Dollar Tree, these are the bu little buckets I found. Are these the cutest thing you've ever seen? So I bought like one, two, three, four, five, and then I probably bought eight of them. And I'm gonna put everything in there and I talked to the girl who's like in charge of it and she's like, yeah, well, technically we already, we sort through all the stuff and then we give it to the kids. But I kind of still wanted to have a good presentation and they could probably reuse these and then give the kids and like let the kids pick out of them. If they don't want to reuse them, they don't have to. <laughs> but I thought that was really cute. So inside of here, I got these like little pony. These look exactly like My Little Pony, but they're not, they're like the Dollar Tree one. So I got a couple of, you know, a few of those. I got these cars. These are really nice. Um, that's doll This is all Dollar Tree right now. Matchbox car right here. I got this little fairy girl. How cute is this? Okay. And then I got more like race cars right here. So that's um, just the stuff I got at Dollar Tree. I mean, Dollar Tree is the best. So then I got these two like kind of like Barbies. I thought these looked like exactly like Barbies. I mean, seriously. And they had really, these were the cutest dresses I picked out. I was basically shopping for like, I'm like, what would I want if I was a kid? <laughs> then I found these, these are the best. I mean, they just are. They're little coloring book activity kits and they come with markers. Now, are these the best markers ever? No, but like the little My Little Pony, and then I got Paw Patrol, which I know the kids love, okay? And then I did get, I got Transformers. So I got all of those, that was my Dollar Tree haul. I oh wait, I got a couple more things. And then these are the things I got for myself. So, um, I got more of these ornaments because these look freaking gorgeous on my tree. They're so nice. Dollar Tree has some of the best ornaments. I got like six of those, and then I got a Nutcracker. I thought this was like kind of a nice nutcracker to be honest for Dollar Tree. Um, I did get another stocking for the basement and then I got this ornament which is so pretty and I got this one is gorgeous. This is like insane. I almost got like five of these but I just got one. It's a little ballerina and she's iridescent. I got that and then I got this. 
So I got all these. I'll either put them on, I think I'll probably put these ones on the tree in the basement. Let's just go to five below now. I got all of the Squishmallows. I got just Christmassy ones. Um, I got this one for myself because I didn't see him the other day. And I got this one for myself. <laughs> Is this like a Yeti? I don't know, but it's kind of funny. So I got those two for myself. I got two of these little Santa ones. I got one of the Nutcracker King, Rat King. I got um, another one of these. And that's what I got for my Squishmallows. There's like, they kind of put a limit on it. I got one big brush tree, which I'm gonna go put over. What? Where's the base? Oh. Oh my God, I almost freaked out. I was like, are you kidding me? So I got a big brush tree. I'm gonna go put that over there with my little forest that I have going. I got this for the kids. So I got some Guess Who and I got Uno to play. I was like, ooh. And they did request Uno, but they didn't request Guess Who. So that's gonna be a secret surprise. I did get this from Five Below. I thought this was pretty. This little Fair Isle stocking we can put in the basement. So, okay, that'll go in the basement. So then I got this. I got actually one for Jarvis. I'm not even joking. So we're like really into watching Halo and playing Halo recently because the new one came out. So I got one for the kids and I got one for the big kid, which is my husband. So, and I got some of these. I know kids like these, these like fidgety games, like bubble burst, like poppers. So I got, ooh. Now here, we're getting into some good stuff here. For you. Look at this. Tell me you wouldn't want to get this as a kid. Hello Kitty stickers, got nail stickers. It's got five scented nail polishes. It looks like that's a emery board, like a nail file. So they're scented. It's vanilla, chocolate, like all different scents. It's so cute. I got this DIY nail kit, Jojo Siwa. Like, okay, come on. I know what the kids like. They want this. So I got that. I got three um, jumbo coloring books. Like I said, I got a lot of stuff that was, it's like more for girls. So I need Jarvis to come with me and do like the boys stuff. Um, this is a good one. This is like a hot ticket item for, in my opinion. So I got this. So that would be really exciting in my opinion. I did get two things of Hello Kitty gift wrap <laughs> cause I want to do that. Um, I actually got this for Jarvis's sister cause I'm doing like an art theme gift for her for Christmas. And then I got these two, this might be, I think this is my last thing I got from Five Below, but I got these two, look at these huge Play-Doh packs. I got them for $5. And then I did go to Walmart, but I found this, it's like just like a floor mat. So I'll go, I'm gonna go put this in like our entryway because it looks really pretty. I found these little mini mittens. Are you kidding me? How cute are these, these plaid? They were five bucks. So I got these crazy crayons. I thought these were just kind of fun. It's, oh, it's a stationary set. It comes with word search too. Oh, cool. I didn't even know that. So I got this, look at how fun. Christmas, these are gel pens. These are twist up crayons. And then this is, oh, this this whole thing is like a, is like a, I didn't even know that. I thought I was just buying markers and crayons. And then this is markers and it's like mazes, activity stuff. Oh, I should have got more of those. And then I got this, which these, they requested like lip smacker and stuff. So I got Star Wars. Put, let's put together like some buckets. Here's the final buckets. I actually had like the perfect amount. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably have to go get back and get more. But okay, I kind of organized them by style. So these are all the Squishmallows. This is the like kind of boys like car. Like I put like the little Halo guy, the car is in there. This is like kind of like a beauty one. So the Jojo one didn't fit back there, but I put like chapstick, I put the vanity mirror, Hello Kitty. This is like the coloring one and so I put all the crayons in there. This is a My Little Pony one. So I put anything My Little Pony associated in that one. This is like little games to play. So I put Uno, Guess Who, and the Fidget Poppers. I did like the little 
dolls and this one and then I did kind of like you know more activities creative crafts and stuff like that in here they came out so cute oh my god I'm so excited about these so thing is straightened up and put away so I think it's time to do some bird catching Smells good. <sighs> I had my dad do some research because I bought him a bird feeder this year. <laughs> And I think he said that it takes like maybe up like five days on average for birds to show up. So let's see how smart these little birds are. Me? Where the hell are they? <laughs> Where the hell are these friggin' birds? Okay, I'm ready to show you my chana masala. I've been like preparing for this day. <laughs> so I just washed and like drained the uh, chickpeas. So I'm using three cans of chickpeas, but typically I would use four cans but I don't have I didn't buy enough somehow which is like I've never heard those words before that I didn't buy enough of something so I'm going to uh, transfer them over to here and then we're gonna need this again for the rice um, so I'm just gonna fill this now with some water um, let's put it on like medium and this is gonna go for about like 30 minutes in here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt also. I also have a pot back here going, and this is filled with water, and I'm also gonna heavily salt this water. And we're gonna be making basmati rice back there. I watched a video of a guy, and he all he did was he like basically cooks it like pasta. So I'm gonna link his recipe down below. But he said to cook the basmati rice like pasta, I'm, I'm just following his recipe, okay? The uh, ingredients that you are going to need, you're obviously gonna need chickpeas, you're gonna need basmati rice. If you wanna do the Persian rice, we'll see how that turns out, but you'll need saffron and sugar, and that's it. And then, obviously salt and pepper, things like that. For seasoning, this is the biggest thing. You need garam masala. Then you just need one onion. I just diced this up, like, not well at all, because we're gonna put it in a food processor. I use tomato paste. Um, you're gonna need a can of tomatoes, and because I'm making a lot, I'm I'm doing this. This is the um, San Marzano, which I think San Marzano tomatoes are the best, so I'm gonna use those. I have one lemon. I'm gonna put a whole lemon in this, and then, not like, I'm gonna, like, lemon juice. And then I have a can of diced jalapenos. Use those at your own risk. <laughs> so, and then you need, like, olive oil, and that's pretty much it. And if you want to eat it with, like, pitas or something like that, too. So I am gonna put a ton of olive oil in here. Medium heat, and I'm gonna let it heat up a little bit, and we're gonna bloom a whole bunch of this garam masala in there. Um, you can use any tomatoes for this. You can do crushed, diced, real tomatoes. Most people would use real tomatoes, but I think canned is so easy. Like, my goal with this was to do something that was cheap. So like, all these ingredients are relatively cheap. And something I could make in bulk. So I made this the other day, but I made it with four cans of chickpeas. And I made this the other day, and it gave us two dinner. It gave us two dinners, full dinners. It gave Jarvis lunch for two days, and it gave me lunch for a day. Like it lasts a long time if you make it in bulk. All right, I'm adding right now like a ton of this. Okay. All right, and I'll honestly I'll probably add more later. So now we're just gonna let this kind of uh, come together. And then once it's like more fragrant, then I'm gonna add everything else in. All right, I'm gonna add in now my stuff. So I'm gonna add in some garlic. I'm gonna add in this, let's see if I can do this with one hand, the onion. All right, and then I'm gonna add in I'm gonna do half the can. I can add more later. I just add a little bit, not a lot, because I already have tomato going in. Now I'm just gonna let these kind of cook together a little bit. And then I'm gonna add the tomatoes in. Right, now I'm gonna add this, these canned tomatoes. 
So now I'm gonna let this sit and kind of uh, brown until it gets a little bit more brown. Like it'll probably take about mm, maybe like 15 minutes or something. I'm ready to transfer this into the food processor. So it's been cooking for like probably 10 minutes. So that's looking good. Okay, so the chickpeas are done. So, see there's like a little bit of water. I'm gonna strain a little bit of it out, but not all of it. It'll thicken a little bit. So here's it combined. This could, this is maybe a touch on the watery side. I'm gonna let it simmer for about, I'll say 15 minutes or so. All right, I'm gonna try to make this saffron water. So um, basically, it's he takes the saffron, he took like two pinches. This is how much I have in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of sugar, it says. Okay, that's what it looks like. You can't see it all because there's a huge glare. So what I'm gonna do is I just have this rice water that I have and it's already boiling. So I'm gonna put that in here because it has to steep. And it has to be hot water, so it's already boiling. So I'm just gonna use that so the rice is ready so i'm going oh, to take this and it. strain it and i'm going to hit it with some cold water my rice is looking really good it's not sticking together like at all i have to say i think that recipe really worked pretty well he put a little bit of rice aside and then he put he had like a squeezy tube bottle but i just have this so i'm just going to put this so then he mixed see how nice that color is so then he oh i probably i think i used way too much so the reason he set this aside is because you don't put it on all the rice. Landing. I think that looks pretty good. All right, now we need to get into our chana. So I'm gonna make up my little bowl right now. Look at that. Oh, it's so good, you guys, I'm telling you. Oh my God. Ah, oh, so good. Oh, I gotta get my pita bread. Are we ready for my first taste test? It's watery, so just don't add even close to as much water as I did, but. So good. Oh my God, it's so good. You have to, I'm serious, you have to try this. <clears throat> Ooh, got a little heat in the back of my throat. Let's try the pita bread. It's a little bland. Good thing I bought four packs. Who's ready for some Vlogmas drama? He just called me in here. He goes, get in here. He goes, what have you done? I have never treated. <laughs> <laughs> Your stuff was so much dis- what did you say? Disrespect. It's disrespect what you did. And I go- he goes- I go, what did I do? And he goes, you'll know right when you get in here. <laughs> and I walk in and I see nothing. I go, what? He goes, you put my shoes right by the toilet. <laughs> I keep my slippers next to my side of the bed. And all of a sudden I come home and they're basically in the toilet. <laughs> Guess what? You left them in the middle of the floor and I cleaned the room. You cleaned my room by almost throwing my slippers in the toilet. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> okay. Hey, have you seen my hoodie? Your hoodie? Oh, man, I have in the pool. <laughs> okay, the drama needs to end now. Okay guys, I think that's gonna be the end of today's vlog. I hope that you enjoyed. Tomorrow I have no plans. <laughs> so we'll see what we get into tomorrow. But yeah, I hope that you are enjoying Vlogmas so far and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. It doesn't matter if the snow is falling.